Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. In Germany and Switzerland, it's now the law that every fish caught must be killed and eaten. Fishing for sport is strictly forbidden. It's a growing movement driven by animal rights activists. Fortunately, in North America, catch and release is alive and well. This not only maintains fish populations, it often increases them. Ethical and informed anglers care about their sport and the environment. As the world looks on, proper catch and release is more important than ever. Always match tackle to the size and type of fish you're after. Play fish with authority and never to complete exhaustion. Time out of the water is another factor. By all means, take pictures, but respect the temperature. Warm water equals less time. When it comes to ice fishing, there's a hidden danger that many of us overlook. In extremely cold air, ice freeze rapidly, at times in a matter of seconds. This leads to blindness, starvation, and death. Put them back quickly, but always check for injuries first. Bleeding from the gills means certain death. Bottom line is, if survival is in question, selective harvest is both acceptable and politically correct. It's encouraging to see so many anglers practicing catch and release. This single act is the best thing we can do to preserve fishing for our future and our children's. Despite the best of intentions, there remains a small percentage of mortality following live release. Here are a few considerations to minimize these losses. Some fish are simply hardier than others. Warm water species, for instance. Bass are ideally suited and may be caught and released many times. Cold water inhabitants like trout and salmon are quite delicate and need to be cradled gently. Only experienced anglers should attempt to hold any fish by the gill plate. When using live bait or equally effective imitations, set hook immediately on a strike to minimize swallowing. If hooked deeply or in the gills, cut the line and things will dissolve harmlessly in time. That's why it's essential to use hooks that rust easily while avoiding stainless steel or coated types. Time out of the water is the biggest factor. During sub-zero temperatures, eyes can freeze in seconds, leading to blindness and death from starvation. At other times, try this. When you land a fish, take a deep breath and hold it. Remove hooks, take pictures, whatever. Once you feel the need to breathe again, it's pretty much certain that fish does too.